Welcome to Pharos Technology. Today we're going to learn about how to build queries. So let's get right to it. Now that you've been through the normalization process and have your data separated out into various tables, let's show you how to put all the data points together in a query. So the first thing I want to show you here is the relationships between the tables. What you can see is the five tables that are listed here all have referential integrity enforced and they have their links already established. Now this is very good to do before your queries, although not absolutely necessary. You can create these links in the query later if you want to uh, without them being created here. But suffice it to say, it's probably better to do it here so your database is consistent all the way through. So let's close this. We go up to the Create ribbon menu here. We go to Query Design. I like to start with Query Design. The first thing it does here is sometimes it'll bring up that property sheet and we'll look at that a bit later. Uh, adding tables over here allows me to click on Tables and see all the tables that are available to add. I want to have Categories and Customers, Products, Sales, and light items. And I'm going to go ahead and close the Add Tables dialog box. And you'll see that my links, because they were already drawn in the Relationships tab, uh, you see that the links are already there. So I'm just going to rearrange my tables here a little bit so I can see them a little more easily. So that is how you add the tables. If, for example, you're missing a table after you've got this far, the Add Tables button is up here on the Query Design ribbon. If your focus has been put on Home or something, come back to Query Design and you can click Add Tables here. And it brings that same dialog box up here that you can go ahead and look at the tables and add other tables. You can also add tables by simply uh, deciding to drag them to your screen. You can delete tables simply by highlighting it uh, on this title bar. You notice it's highlighted around it and hit your delete key and it'll go away and you can add it simply back. Uh, the reason why it doesn't ask you, do you really want to add it? Because it's so simple just to put it back. Not a problem. Okay, so now we have all of our fields. Now, how do we add the fields? Well, the fields are simply a matter of double clicking here, or you can drag an, a field down here. In fact, if I, if I want, if I add the phone number, but I forgot the, uh, the state and zip code, I can go ahead and drag the state on top of phone and it'll put in, in pr front of the phone field. So I can simply add all the fields that I need. Now, I don't need to add all these ID fields because the ID fields are already there linking up the tables, but I can go ahead and um, put in a, a product description, features, model year. I can add the invoice number that I paid and what date I sold it. So I can choose any of the different tables uh, to add fields from and add any field that I want to all the way across here. Now, when you get done with this point, sometimes you like to sort the data. So let's, let's sort this data by the state that it's from. And so down here, up here, you have a sort and you can assort going up or going down. You know, descending means Z to Z to A or high number to zero or descending or ascending is is zero to a big number or A to Z. OK, simple. And so I'm going to sort that ascending and I'm going to then go over here and by state, I'm going to also sort uh, by the sale date, let's say. OK, and I can sort that ascending. And so that way I can sort it. Now, one thing to remember is that it sorts in your query from left to right. So in sorting from left to right, you will want to make sure that the sort order and the order it appears on the screen is the way you intend it. Like, for example, if I wanted to sort the dates on the invoices, but have the state assorted after that, I would come over here after this and I would pull another state field in here, but I would tell it not to display it over here, but to go ahead and sort it over here. 
and then I can come back here and take this sort off, just saying it's not sorted, okay? Now, once I've got it looking good, I can go ahead and, and display it in what they call data sheet view, or putting it back in design view, I can run it. So running it is more for the ones that are gonna do an action. And we'll get into those queries later, the ones that'll add data to a table or make a table or uh, a cross tab query and things like that. Those will be ones that you would run and the data sheet view doesn't actually show you the real data that it shows after it runs. So we can either run or we can do the data sheet view for this particular uh, query. So you can see here that it's over here, it's sorting by sale date first, and then it's sorting by the invoice number. So we have a bunch of 2012 ones here and they're all by year, and they just happen to be in invoice number order as well, because obviously they started their numbering at the beginning of of the year. So uh, that is how to get it to display. If you wanted to print it, it's simply a matter of going here to file and print and you'll get a quick print, it just sends it straight to the printer or you can do a print here which allows you to see the uh, select the printer and so forth. I believe it, yes, goes to select the printer here. Okay. And the other one, print preview, allows you to see what it's gonna look like if I print it first, okay? It'll give you kind of a PDF look, but that's the way it'll look like when it, when it gets to the printer. Part of the challenge, um, yeah, it looks like, part of the challenge is gonna be the fact that as it goes to page two, you'll see the right hand of the page because the fields go beyond that. It's a lot like an Excel print where if it's too wide, it'll print on the, the next fields or columns on the next page. And it's the same with this. And you can see what it's gonna look like uh, before you send it to the printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my print view here. And that is the simplest, most direct way to set up a query. Now we'll talk, like I said, we'll talk about those specialized queries in later videos, but this is a quick primer to get you started now that you've separated all the data in those tables to put them back together so that you can report on them, put them in forms and deal with the data the way that your application needs to as it goes on. Thanks for joining and I hope you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll hopeful, hope to see you later. Thanks.